welcome to W434. In this lecture, we shall summarize the switches, their IV characteristics, and we will see how composite switches can be made by the combination of these individual switches. So let us start with the today's lecture. So far, we have seen that there are certain switches which are only capable of working in single quadrant. So first of all, let us summarize those single quadrant switches. We have seen that on this IB plane, we have some switches that are able to conduct the forward current and that block the forward voltage. So with a forward voltage and forward current, okay, let me place with forward with positive voltage and forward current, we have a devices uh, such are the devices are the BJT, we have IGBT, and there are there is a device which is capable of allowing the current to flow from the uh, from in the in the forward direction, but it blocks the voltage in the reverse polarity. So with negative voltage and with forward or positive current. We have the we have the diode. Notice here, whenever we want to establish the IV characteristics for a given switch, uh, we replace it with this type of a switch without showing the control terminal, and we say that this side is positive, this is negative, and the current is flowing uh, from A to point number B. So, if a device is capable of allowing the current to flow from B to A, we call it a negative current. And the characteristic curve is then plotted uh, alongside this negative uh, I axis. And if the device is capable of blocking the voltage in this particular polarity with this side negative and this side positive, we call it a negative voltage blocking capability. So these are the single quadrant switches. Let us discuss the two quadrant switch. Two quadrant switch are switches that are capable of operating in two quadrants. There are two possibilities for a two quadrant switch. The first possibility is, is a voltage unidirection current bidirectional current bidirection bidirectional switch. This means that on these IV characteristics because the voltage is unidirectional, so it will work in these particular regions. So we have we have this device capability is in in this particular uh, configuration. Now the first device which uh, which is capable of doing this, it comes in our mind is the is the MOSFET, right? So we have we have a MOSFET here because the MOSFET has inherently a body diode connected here and if we apply the positive here and a negative here and we do not apply this VGS or VGS is set equal to zero then we do not have a current flow through this body diode because this becomes reverse biased and this device is now capable of blocking the blocking the positive voltage right so if we have uh, if we apply the VGS then the current shall flow from through this particular device and hence it is able to conduct the current in the positive direction or in the forward direction. Remember that this all is done uh, in consistency with, with these defined directions for the, for the current and the voltage across a particular switch. So this is A, this is B. This means that here we have A and here we have the uh, terminal number B. Now suppose that uh, we apply a plus here and a negative here. In that particular case, this body diode will become forward biased. Thus, it will provide a path for the current to flow uh, through through itself. And therefore, uh, it is this device is capable of allowing the current in the negative direction. Uh, okay, voltage unidirectional current bidirectional switch can also be realized by using by having a BJT and by connecting a diode in an anti-parallel configuration. Now, if you see here. 
this diode is called in an anti parallel configuration same as this particular diode because although they are connected in parallel with the with the mosfet and this bdt they do not conduct when the main devices are conducting and therefore we call them in an anti parallel configuration so an anti parallel connection of a diode and a bjt yields the same voltage unidirectional current bidirectional switches the same can happen with with an igbt in place so we can realize a voltage unidirectional current bidirectional switch by connecting two devices in anti parallel configuration typical applications of voltage unidirectional current bidirectional switches are the dc to ac inverters normally known as the h bridge and we have the servo amplifiers and also we have the the bidirectional bidirectional battery chargers these are typical applications where voltage unidirectional and current bidirectional switches are required the second type of a two quadrant switch second type of a two quadrant switch is known as the voltage bidirectional two quadrant switch which means that over this iv characteristics such switches are capable of blocking the forward and the negative voltage but allow the flow of current the forward direction so if we have this switch we have this a we have this b then it is able to block vab greater than 0 or vab less than 0 but it only allows the current to flow from a to b that is iab sh should be greater than 0 so how to realize a voltage bidirectional two quadrant switch the first method to develop this is to connect a bjt in series with with a particular diode now because we are using two devices this is a composite switch if we apply if for example if this is terminal number a and this is terminal number b and if we apply these two polarities across these two terminals and we do not apply any control signal to this bjt then this diode becomes forward biased however this igbt shall block the positive voltage and therefore it operates here in case if we apply the base signal here then this becomes uh, then this comes in a conduction mode and therefore it allows the current to flow from point number a to point number b and hence we operate at this uh, positive uh, current axis in in case if we have this side positive and this side negative then this diode shall block the negative voltage and therefore this becomes a voltage bidirectional two quadrant switch with this particular capability so the option one or the first solution is to use an igbt or a bjt with an anti uh, with a series uh, with a series diode also without going into the uh, composite switch an scr does the same job however scr is greatly compromised by its low or medium switching frequencies and therefore it is seldom used nowadays for low power or medium power applications another important point here is that these voltage bidirectional two quadrant switches find their applications typically in dc to three phase ac buck bus inverters now these inverters if i if i may draw the 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 circuit here we have now if you notice here that we have an inductor here 
so considering that this is operating in a continuous conduction mode the current is always positive but you see because we are having a three phase ac output which has sometimes we have positive voltage and sometimes we have the negative voltage we require to have switches on individual phases that are able to to block the voltage in positive in positive amplitude or in a negative amplitude but since we assume that if we have this inductor in the continuous conduction mode then the current flow is always uh, from the from this uh, from the inverter towards the uh, towards the three phase ac output and therefore for such dc to three phase ac buck push inverters the choice of switches is actually a voltage bidirectional current unidirectional switches now sometimes it happens that uh, in making a composite switch sometimes we can shift the property of a switch by adding another uh, switch in it for instance let me draw the the mosfet here with a body diode this has a switching characteristics in these particular in 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 this particular region if i add a diode in series with this mosfet q then this iv characteristics is shifted into into a voltage bidirectional current unidirectional switch so not only we can actually enhance the capability of a given switch by using a composite switch but we can also create a composite switch to alter the properties of an existing switch just like we have done here for a for a particular mosfet so mosfet is capable of having the bidirectional current with a unidirectional voltage blocking capability if we add a diode in series the voltage blocking capability becomes bidirectional however because of a series diode now it can only have a current connection from the positive side to the negative uh, terminal so therefore uh, with this in mind you should always notice that by applying by or by creating the composite switches we can not only create the switches with a much uh, wider range of operation over this uh, iv characteristic quadrants but they can also have a shift in their properties uh, by different combinations so the next type of the switches is known as the as the four quadrant switches or the ac switches four quadrant switches are the switches which are able to block the positive voltage as well as the negative voltage they offer a current to flow in either direction and hence they are known as the ac switches now four quadrant switches are not available in a single device there has to be a composite composite switch that consists of the combination of the uh, two quadrant switches or the single quadrant switches with a two quadrant switches to create a device a, a overall package that is able to conduct in both the direction and is able to block the voltage in the in both of the direction so we have certain options available here some of them is to is to use is to use two current bidirectional two current bidirectional two quadrant switches back to back right so which means uh, we have current bidirectional switches means that we have we have this type of a of a switch here and here we have the switch in this particular this particular direction so this is equal to a switch that has terminal number a this is terminal number b we apply plus here and negative here and we measure and current in this particular direction so let us say this is terminal number a and this is terminal number b so now if you see here that if we apply if we apply a plus here and a negative here and we do not apply any signal to these switches then this whole device blocks the positive voltage however if we replace this with plus here and a negative here again you see that this diode becomes reverse biased if there is no signal on this q2 then it also blocks this voltage here so the overall 
characteristics of this switch comes out to be a device capable of blocking the negative voltage as well. Now, if I apply the control signal to this Q1 with this side positive and this side negative, then this Q1 shall conduct and on the other side, this D2 shall conduct and therefore, it is able to allow the current to flow from point number A to B or in otherwise we say that we have a forward current carrying capability. If we have plus here and a negative here, then we have to apply the control signal to this Q2, thereby forward biasing, uh, thereby forward biasing this diode D1 as well, and therefore it is a device which is capable of blocking the, uh, uh, capable of allowing the current in the negative direction. So overall, or an anti-series combination of two current bidirectional switches creates a four quadrant switch. Such can also be made by connecting two voltage bidirectional two quadrant switches in anti-parallel. So, for instance, we have voltage bidirectional switches mean that we have that we have the this 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 is a simple uh, two quadrant switch and here we have something like this one So let us say that we have this one as S1, this is S2 and combine S1 plus S2 creates a four quadrant switch. So let us say that if we have, if we have a plus here and a negative here, then if we do not apply the control signals to these uh, BJTs, then there is no way the current can flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Because here you see this BJT, Q1 will block this positive uh, applied voltage and here the diode D2 shall block this positive voltage and therefore it is a device which is capable of operating in the positive voltage blocking axis. If we apply a control signal here then we have a current flow from this side to this side and therefore it is able to conduct the forward current. In case if we apply a positive here and a negative here then we have this side reverse bias so obviously this s1 shall not conduct however if there is no applied control signal here for this s2 then this negative voltage is also blocked and hence we operate in this particular uh, axis and if we apply a control signal to this s2 then this d1 d2 is already conducting and after the application of the control pulse to this s2 this s2 also conduct and thereby resulting in a negative direction of the current and thus creating a complete uh, two quadrant uh, a complete four quadrant switch which is capable of allowing the current to flow in both direction and, uh, and it is capable of blocking the voltage in either direction now you see here that for both of these two switches we have we have two controlled two control switches and we have two uncontrolled switches which are the which are the diodes. There is another possibility of creating uh, a switch which is uh, uh, which is capable of uh, operating in the four quadrants, and that is uh, by the use of by the use of the rectifiers so we can generate the similar one by having here so we have this is terminal number a this is terminal number b let us say this is d1 this is d2 this is d3 this is d4 
uh, let us say this is d4, this is d3. So if this side is positive, if A is positive and B is connected with the negative terminal, then we have then we have the uh, d4 and d2 forward bias, while d1 and d3 are reverse bias. But if we do not apply any control signal to this transistor Q, then this positive voltage is blocked, and hence we operate here. If we apply if we apply a positive here and a negative here, then this diode D2 and D4 become forward biased. Sorry, D, D, D3 and D1 becomes forward biased. D2 and D4 becomes reverse biased. Again, if there is no control pulse applied to this transistor Q, then we operate at this particular uh, area, uh, at this particular axis. If some gate or control pulse is applied to this uh, BJT Q, then we have a current flow then we have a current flow in this particular uh, you know direction and therefore we operate in in a at this particular axis with a negative current if we make this side positive and this side negative then at that particular instance we have uh, we have the current flow through this diode d4 and then if we have a control pulse applied here it comes here and then d, uh, through this d2 uh, the current flow is completed and therefore we operate on on the positive uh, y axis for which represents a forward current carrying capability now if you see here there are certain other uh, possibilities for developing a composite switch as well some of them are given in in a very famous textbook which is known as the fundamentals of fundamentals of power electronics by uh, Erickson at all you can go through that chapter number four to have more idea about the nature of the composite switches and how we realize the composite switches using different uh, devices which uh, with independent uh, single quadrant and two quadrant capabilities but the major point major point here is that for this particular switch we are using four diodes and we have one control device which is the which is this particular which is this particular uh, switch q now in contrast with the with this particular circuit and the circuits that i have drawn here we need to see these two uh, aspects to develop a figure of merit uh, to identify that which four quadrant switch is is a potent switch and economical and a good performance switch compared to each other because ultimately both of these two circuits are capable of working in four quadrants but there are certain figure of merits that we need to see before we select uh, a, a switch for a given topology for example if you see here with these two diodes since the diode has always a conduction loss greater than the mosfet therefore with one diode and one switch in series we have a constant voltage drop of 0.7 volt across these two diodes whenever they conduct right in this particular <clears throat> in this particular topology we have two diodes that conducts whenever the current flows from terminal number a to b or from terminal number b to terminal number a so with two diodes we have 0.7 plus 0.7 this is the fixed voltage drop that shall appear across this diode other than the uh, conduction losses of the of single uh, uh, switch Q which is used here here we have here for for this particular purpose we have we have one diode here so the forward voltage drop is less than compared to that particular uh, topology uh, this is one figure of merit which it can be used as a bottom line to select the appropriate topology uh, for a, for a given network the second important figure of merit is the number of control components which are required to operate a switch in a, uh, in, in a four in four quadrants now if you see here there is only one q here or one control device here which depicts that we require to have only one only one control circuit which could be a base driver circuit for a bjt a gate control signal for uh, for a for a for an igbt etc however for this particular the four quadrant switch or this particular switch we require to have two control circuits which means that the implementation complexity of of this particular choice with two voltage bidirectional uh, two quadrant switches in anti parallel or two current bidirectional switches in anti series 
or back to back connection they require to have a complex implementation because of the amount of the control signals and the and the gating requirements they are considered complex but owing to that complexity they offer less forward voltage drop because there is only one diode that conducts whenever we have a current uh, flow flowing through this particular switch so there are certain other uh, switching uh, possibilities available for example uh, there is a possibility that we can have four uh, you know bjt's with only one diode and then there are certain other characteristics as well we can also have a four quadrant switch by placing two scrs in an anti parallel configuration because each scr individual is a two quadrant switch so we can have them connected in an anti parallel configuration to make it a two quadrant switch that operates in these uh, particular uh, regions so that's all for our module number 1 so till the next lecture take care allah hafiz